RFSU provides information about boys' and men's genitals. As you grow and enter puberty, the entire body changes, including the genitals. For example, hair grows on the genitals, and the penis and scrotum grow in size. The color may become slightly darker. Most people enter puberty when they are 10 to 14 years old, but it's possible to enter puberty earlier or later. The penis can continue growing until you're around 17 to 20 years old, depending on when you started puberty. The appearance of penises differs from person to person in shape, color, length, and thickness. The size difference is greatest in flaccid penises. Erect penises have less of a difference in size. The penis consists of three erectile tissue columns. Erectile tissue is a soft tissue that can fill with blood. That happens when the penis is erect and becomes hard. The glands, which is at the end of the penis, is very sensitive to touch. The frenulum, located under the glands, is especially sensitive. The scrotum contains the balls, epididymis, and vas deferens. If you touch the balls, they may feel as if they're not completely smooth. That is because the epididymis is next to the balls. The balls, or testicles as they're also called, produce sperm and the sex hormone testosterone. It is common for the balls to be different sizes and for them to hang at different heights. New sperm are formed constantly and they never run out, no matter how often you ejaculate. Ejaculate, which is also called semen, may look different. The quantity of semen with ejaculation is about one or two teaspoons. Pre-ejaculate comes out before ejaculation. It lubricates the urethra to make it easier for semen to come out. When and how much pre-ejaculate the body produces differs. Pre-ejaculate and semen are two different things. The foreskin protects the glands, where the skin is especially thin and sensitive. Some people have a bigger foreskin, while in others, it does not cover the entire glands. If the foreskin is removed, this is called circumcision. This procedure is sometimes performed for medical reasons. For example, that the foreskin is too tight, but it is primarily done because of tradition. In Sweden, it is legal to circumcise boys, but not girls. Circumcision is generally a safe procedure, but the removal of tissue always entails some risk. Later in life, it is possible to be troubled by reduced sensitivity of the glands. To clean the penis and glands, pull back the foreskin and wash with lukewarm water and a perfume-free oil. Once per day is enough. If you wash more often and use shower soap, the skin can become dry. This can cause symptoms like stinging, itching, and pain. If you feel that the skin is dry, you can moisturize it with a perfume-free moisturizing skin cream. Masturbation, which means having sex with yourself, involves stroking your genitals or other parts of your body. Most people masturbate and do so for pleasure. Masturbation is not dangerous, but rather will help you get to know your body and what you think feels good. It is common to occasionally have trouble getting an erection or staying erect. This can be because you are stressed, anxious, in love, nervous, or because you don't feel like having sex. But it can also be due to other things, such as certain medications or diseases. If you have a hard time getting or maintaining an erection, do not wait to seek medical care. Having questions and thoughts about your genitals is common, no matter your age. If you are having issues or want to talk to someone, contact a youth clinic, a sex and relationships clinic, or a medical clinic.